Good evening YouTube and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a um, kind of a, a, a harder way to start it. Um, make sure everything's good to go and everything's gone. Um, it does take uh, two saved games to do this but it's fine since you can have like up to 20 so first go into career and go to the second one because you want your main one to be number one or at least I do so let's go into the second one and go into easy uh, I do want gold crest you do have to have this the same map so that you can position them correctly um, you don't have to I guess but it's easier so let's go continue uh, female as usual Ludovo. eh I can't talk usual <clears throat> and I'm gonna go with a red shirt this time and as you can see I have every mod that is pretty much available and a couple I downloaded online um, I downloaded Europa Euromas, whatever that is. Um, this lizard, Sincor, uh, grain barriers, and some other ones. Um, some of them I don't really care for, but some of them are pretty useful. Like, after I found this one mod, this is just not useful at all. Um, maybe once I get higher up, I can get it, but I don't know. Um, but one mod you do want is. You do want the money cheat mod. Where is it at? The money tool. You do want that one to set it up. And here's why. Uh, let's go into start. <coughs> and let's come in here. Alright, so we're in here. So the very first thing I need to do is I need to turn my volume back up turn it up to about 20 percent okay so the very first thing you want to do as you can see I do have all of the original stuff okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell everything except for this tipper because the DBA is the original, the cheapest, worst tipper you can get anyway. Um, I haven't found a mod that's worse than this yet. So, let's go through and sell everything. Um, you can click sell and just tap enter twice. It does work. And then that's good there. Okay, so all I have now is the tipper. Now, inside here is where you go and you choose your um, everything you want. Uh, so in the harvesters, I want the Kamiya C6. It looks newer than the Case IH, but it's not as good. Um, the only thing it can do is it can drive faster and see it's faster it holds more fuel but it's not actually I might as well keep that one but it does this one the case IH does hold us hold a significantly amount more uh, inside the the harvester so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and do this one because it doesn't hold near as much so we're gonna buy that one there so we will select it and buy and I'm gonna switch to it real quick because we have to use the cheat three million dollars should do alright so now let's finish buying all the vehicles so now we need a cutter um, I did get the yeah so let's go ahead and buy the 
harvester for it. It's even smaller. It costs less per day though. But that's fine. Uh, let's select it and buy. Alright. And now we need I'm gonna buy two tractors. The Herleman. Uh, standard will set up. And then I need a. Don't need a tipper, I've got one. I need a sewing machine, which I'll use the Accord. Because it doesn't fertilize your grass. And as for a cultivator, I'm going to use a mod, which is the Limkin. Has a back attachment. Okay. And I'm going to buy a truck. Now, it's the same truck, the pickup lizard, the one that, or the lizard, the one that you start out with, except it's modded. <clears throat> and I'll show you what the mod consists of. So let's buy this, and I'm going to put it as a blue rim color. Okay. Let's start that. All right. <clears throat> now, the cool thing about this mod is since I have all of this stuff here and we have the truck, I'm going to go ahead and show you this mod. So, if you come down to pallets and you scroll all the way over, Slow Tide 63 is the one who made it. I can't remember what the mod is called though. You can buy seed pallet, seed bags that hold 100 liters for, of seed. So if I buy this, I can pick this up, throw it into the bed of the truck, and then I can strap it in and take it back. Of course, it doesn't hold very much, so... I wonder if I can sell that. No, I can't. Okay. Um... Now I need I need a way to get these back. <clears throat> and the way I do it is I buy two of these. Which is if you've never used these, um, or if you think they're a real pain, they're actually probably one of the best ones you can buy. So let's buy two dollies. All right. And I'll show you how this works. Alright, so everybody knows that you need a dolly to hook up a tractor trailer. By a tractor trailer, I mean a semi trailer. Okay. Now, what you can do is use the left mouse button to extend it <clears throat> like that and change your tool to the last one and detach it. So you can use this as a trailer by itself which is kinda cool. Okay, so now What I need to do is go ahead and attach these. Okay, the camera angle thing is really ticking me off today.
push this all the way back as far as possible. And I'll show you another reason why I like this cultivator. It's the smallest one you can get. But you can attach both of these to it. There we go. Okay. So we're good there. <clears throat> so now we can just attach this one back here. And there we are. But now I need a way to take this back. And I don't think I can just drive this on there. No. I was really hoping I could. So actually I don't need that trailer. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave it here so I don't accidentally sell it. Go to bailing technology and grab this one. I just don't want to accidentally sell the one before. Or the other one that I'm using. But I will say this about this one. The creator of this mod needs to lower these ramps just a hair a bit more. And there we go. Alright, so we're pulling up to the farm here. Can go ahead and detach that. 
and then detach that. And I'm going to set these inside here. And what this does is it gets the placement. So we'll just set these up to wherever I want to place them at. But this, you know, this works with um, all. Uh, any uh, vehicle, any anything that you want. So I need to go grab this trailer. set it where I want it. And then set my tractor where I want it. Just make sure that when you do this, though, that nothing is clipping. So, like, it's not up against anything or nothing like that. That is not too heavy. I could pick that up. And then, okay, so if you did buy a trailer to bring everything here, you want to make sure you sell them. <clears throat> so that you don't get confused on everything you own and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you sell the stuff that you don't want to keep. And yes, the trailer and that little the low loader and this piece are two separate pieces. I just wish you could buy them as two separate pieces if you wanted to. Like I said, make sure you sell everything you don't want to keep and everything is good there. Okay. <clears throat> and then save your game. <clears throat> Crap. Uh, I do need to turn down the game volume or else I'll get booted 
or I won't be able to upload this. So let's go back and we can quit. Now we can create a multiplayer server. So create game, a new game on hard. And the reason why I like multiplayer is because then you can't do missions. And we'll keep everything the same. There should be no mods that I don't want. Alright, we're good here. Let's continue. Make sure everything's set right. Yes, my password will be changed. <coughs> uh, let's see, international. And let's start. Alright, now immediately hit escape, save. and then quit. And then quit the game altogether. And then what you need to do is go into your um, where your mods folder is, which for me it's different than everybody else. Um, I have to go to my C drive, then I go to users, my name, and then documents. Now for a lot of people it'll be in here. For me it's not. For me I have to go down to my games and that's where mine is. But that's where you want to go. So then, you know, you have all your mods in there. Then what you want to do is go to save game 2 and I suggest downloading um, Notepad++ just because it's a lot easier to change everything. It's easier to read. Now, under Save Game 1, because that's the one we're actually going to play, you want to go to Career Save Games, go Edit with Notepad++, and then go down so like you can change your settings in here um, some things I do change include uh, let me find them statistics under money <clears throat> I, I do change this And I make it a very, and actually, I do make it a pretty low low amount. So I'll change it down to like five thousand. Um, everything here should be zero. Time played. Let's make that zero because it's going to be a brand new game. Uh, loan interest is one hundred and fifty. I'm going to change the loan to one hundred and fifty thousand at 200 if we keep coming down um, total amount counts make sure these are all right uh, and then you have the uh, mods that are involved <clears throat> and then down here under client permissions I'm just gonna change this to false so I don't have to do it in the game and then click save and that's it for that one the next thing that you need to change is the is it the economy yes so in the game um, you own three fields you own 12 
14 and 15. Now if I remember right, um, Gold Crest Valley Map. Uh, and I don't think anybody has, oh, right there. The only field I want to own is number 15. And the way you change this is find number 12, change that to false. And find number 14, change that to false. Whoops. Okay. And then that's good for that. I mean, if you wanted to, you could change them all to where you own everything. You know, I mean, it's up to you. And then everything else is good, so save that. Next is vehicles. Now, this is the part where we bought the vehicles, set them where we wanted to set them. So let's go into vehicles, edit with Notepad++. And at the top, if you see here, it says vehicle ID 1. Put your cursor there, and then go down until, until you see item class name. Because right now, on this map, I own nine vehicles and implements. So all of this right here, you can delete it. And all you're going to do is go back to save game 2, the one we edited. Right click it, go to edit with notepad, <clears throat> and you can see it opens it here. So do the same thing until you find the last vehicle hit control copy or control C or right click copy and just paste it right there and click save and this is also where you can change other things like um, you can change the fields I think but I don't really <clears throat> mess with anything else on here sorry for the coughing it seems like I only cough when I record um, but yeah that's it so let's save that that's already saved and that shouldn't have to be saved and that's it so we took away fields and everything so let's go check this out go into play And I've been looking for ways to get rid of the splash screens here. I haven't found anything. I've also tried to find a way to get rid of just the music. I haven't figured that out yet either. So let's go to career. Save game one. Multiplayer. Create game. Why I don't have a save game here either, I don't know. Why is that? That is weird. Anyway, go into multiplayer, create game, save game one, all the mods are good, let's continue, all of this is good, all except off, so I might not change it, let's click start, and autosave is on, which I don't usually have that on. Uh, international because I'm in America <clears throat> click start and there we have it we have the truck we bought um, as you can tell I can put straps on it if we come over here I have everything exactly where I put it And I don't own that field, as you can see the little thingy there. And I don't own that field up there, 
if you can see it because I have the buy symbol there too so as you can see here I own 15 just I don't own this one or this one and that makes it a little harder and I've only got 5,000 credits so that's it and on this one you don't have to save it because it's already saved so so that's about it I hope we all learned something um, I will be doing a series on this so if you want to be a part of it uh, send me a friend request on Steam uh, my name is the same as my YouTube channel and Terrius Insomnius just send me a friend request and we'll talk um, <clears throat> I just you know I'd prefer people who actually want to play instead of just you know mess around so I mean I'm kind of this is how I get away from the real world and de-stress and people who just want to mess around all the time it causes me stress and I'll end up kicking them and yeah so come hang out for a little bit uh, I can have up to 16 people um, this is running off of my computer and my internet so uh, when I go to bed the server will be shut down so yeah as always uh, leave a comment uh, any questions, any concerns, anything that you'd like to see.